Oh, that's that, a knife. That's a gear, that's a cog. That or, is. Are we still, I guess we still have. Gear. Or is this like yeah, game think, spots? No, I think this, no, is, this game is like spot. some game spot thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sort of statue of Master Chief. Yeah, this is this is not a. Uh, oh, Fable. Do you think we'll see that Fable thing? I don't think. No, I think this is. No, this is. This it. is it. Yeah. Is it? This is the beginning. Do we have any audio? There are those satisfied by common pursuits. Yeah, we're opening with a montage here. And those for a durag. Extraordinary. Super fake. He just put yeah, the durag on. He just put the durag on. Put the durag on. Like immediately. What? So. Done. Done. Will Finished. Step. Or will you leap? I'm gonna fly. <laughs> the whole thing, like the Halo Five. So, what is the Nathan Fillion? Halo oh, Five. His, his character from ODST is in, is Halo in 5, it, yeah. and they're like hunting the Master Chief. Is that Something what it is? Something like that. Fable guy, I would think so. Or I guess. Persia. Or Fable guy. Like after the first two, they kind of. Yeah. <laughs> like, who is Fable guy? I'm some <laughs> other guy <laughs> from video games. That's Michael the Fable. That's the Master Chief looks like under the helmet. Yeah. Oh, they got the big circle thing in the middle. <laughs> That's where Jay Al Jump yeah. 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 Way to I'm back. on jump in. Like it's on the edge. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan this bike around the edge. This is the <laughs> Xbox E3 2015 briefing. Please welcome, from 343 Industries, Bonnie Ross. Yeah. Going Halo first, huh? Yep. On behalf of everyone here at Xbox, it is an honor to welcome you to E3 2015 and to continue the tradition of what this show has always been about. The characters, Except for the, the year game, before last when it was about that people love. not games. <laughs> in 2015, we are delivering the greatest games lineup in Xbox history. A lineup that includes new and innovative IP, groundbreaking indie games, blockbuster franchises, Some more patches and of course, for the, Master Chief collection. the best <laughs> exclusive games launching this year. Tell me more. So let's start today with the first Halo game. Ever. Thank you, that's right. <laughs> that's right yes, you, would, you have heard of this, that yes. From the ground up for Xbox One. And the game that fulfills both the promise of the Halo universe and the power of Xbox One. Master Chief, hero or traitor? <gasps> I think I know the answer to that question. Yeah? Probably hero. Epic worlds. I don't know. Epic battles. Epic scale. This Epics. Is Unreal Engine. <laughs> Xbox One exclusive. All right. Let's see what the screen looks like. Not just another target, you know. Every target is just another target, Buck. 0631 this morning. Master Chief was declared absent without leave. I'm a Spartan now, sir. I know who you are. Oh, Yet yeah. now you hunt another Spartan, the greatest of your clan. Every other Spartan, every soldier, when they hear about this, they're gonna hate us. You know that, right? You're not the only one here because of him. So now on the Covenant's final stronghold. That is where you'll find the Master Chief and the Guardian he seeks. <laughs> Whoa, <Jesus>. okay. <laughs> Bruh, let's move. Bail, keep an ear on cars. Affirmative. Buck, Tanaka, defensive position. I will never bow to infidels. How much of the gameplay do you think is you playing as the team of the Master Chief? Half. Half. Two trick. Yeah. 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 Look, Sounds all right. Sure Less Jake of a trick when you Let's show see. it months well, ahead of time. But... <laughs> Gotta read it. Bail. Do you see this too? It's pretty. Let me take a look. Yeah. yeah. It confirms. Or maybe this player. is a separate co-op yeah. campaign. Yeah. Yeah. Could be the, yeah. Could be the case. Oh yeah. Chief's assault rifle. No ammo. Then the master chief's been through here. Which means he has a head start on the guardian. Let's get moving. Been there. <laughs> Looks like 
Black Arbiter's running the Covenant out of town. We've been fighting for this moment a long time, Vale. The Covenant's finally breaking. Man, I don't remember anything about the story of Halo 4. I know. <laughs> there was the there big ball. Yeah. You think the Crazy new the aliens. The didact. Yeah, the didact. didact. Right. And then Cortana died. We didn't right. Like, yes. Okay. Yes. AI so. running rampant. The story yes. of every yeah. game Bungie has ever touched. So right. yeah. Like, <laughs> hey, back yes. on track. Got it. Keep your head down. No, I, I, I fully assume this is Master Chief going rogue to try to save Cortana. Yeah. How did Cortana die? <laughs> just like a microchip? She, her like AI expired. Yeah, she was going rampant. Okay. Like they have a limited lifespan. I'm Remember okay. like Keep going. Master Chief went like inside the computer at the end and like touched her or whatever. She was like she didn't real. Die, didn't she go everywhere? Yeah, she didn't yeah. die, but she's like out of commission or whatever. There's probably some little Wait. bits and pieces of her that you could probably yeah. save. Safe and sound inside a crumbling building. And then they're trying to get her to the doctor that created her from mm. Halo Reach. Yeah. She's an Oni. Did you see that? Alright, Prometheans also, that was yeah. a thing. Yeah. Nathan's pretty awesome. Nathan's alright. What has he done other than Halo? Castle. Firefly. 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 Is Fuck, light it up. Destiny. He was in some horror movie, I can't remember. Oh, yeah. he's totally in Destiny. Oh, with Elizabeth Banks. It was Slither, no. Slither's well, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah Slither. Yeah, Slither, yeah, Slither, Slither, that was a good movie. Slither is awesome. Yeah. He was in oh, Saving yeah. Private Ryan. Briefly, yeah. yes. Oh, wow. Oh, he's okay. the one they find first, okay. yeah. Whoa. Okay, what's that thing all about? That's the new enemy form, right? Wait, what are those called? Prometheans? Yeah, yeah. But he's... Protheans. Right. Okay. That's, no, that's Prometheans. Star Trek. That's like Prometheans. Four runners. Four, four, four runner weapons. Prometheans use four Prometheans runner weapons. Four Echo Pro. Prometheans are four runners. <laughs> I think. But not all four, four runners are Prometheans. Mm, Got it. What the hell are you guys on about? <laughs> Halo well, lore. I guess. Well, well, if you read the books, I did uh, not. You doctored Chak Chakla. Chak. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Chocolate. Space crossbow. We mean Master Chief's mom. The bowcaster, Jeff. Thank you. Sorry. That looks cool. Yeah. That was a neat effect. Look, like there's some like ordering your your NPC companions around, which could be all right. Unless this is actually co-op. I mean, there might have been. There was definitely a moment where it was like, Buck, shoot Take that thing. Did any Halo campaign not have co-op? Not have co-op? Yeah. I don't think ODST they oh, that had the like uh, wave mode, right? Keeper of the yeah, firefight. Still still firefight but I, I think it also Take had co-op, didn't it? I think they've all had four. Oh jeez. That's a sword. The master chief is called. But you your passage is denied. Oh man, oh. ancient evil's definitely just a one. Oh, quick time events, huh? <laughs> space blades will space bleed. <laughs> Scarab. We need to get airborne. We are airborne at four runner face on. Pretty. Halo, then the next week's Call of Duty, then Fallout, the week after that. Please welcome Jesus. from 343 Industries, oh, yeah. Josh Holmes. This is the biggest and most ambitious Halo campaign yet. Built for seamless drop-in, drop-out cooperative play, mm. you'll control two distinct Spartan squads. One led by the Master Chief, and the other by Spartan Locke. Now, for the first time, the epic scale of Halo's campaign carries like over to our multiplayer now. experience. With 24 players, AI-controlled adversaries, and massive environments that are four times the size of any previous Halo map, what you're about to see is a giant leap for Halo multiplayer, and it's playable here at E3. This 
is Warzone. Spartans have broken through our defenses and our base is in lockdown. Eliminate them to secure our home base. Let's go, Spartans. Let's put them down once and for all. Spartans are here. We got this. I feel a lot like the tone in this room right now is, this is fine. Yeah. This, uh, yeah, this all good. seems acceptable. So wait, this is the, are they talking this about this? This is a multiplayer mode. And is this the two, four player squad? Or is no, no, totally it's, different. It's, Robot like, dogs. it'll be 12 on 12 oh, okay. with a bunch of AI in there too, probably. Right. This, this is like our campaign, I think, follows those two squads. Okay. And this I is think. their multiplayer mode. This is some new multiplayer yeah. mode, yeah. Let's see what I'm Xbox One exclusive world premiere. Check it. Another robot dog. Okay. Hmm. Another robot dog. What? Oh. Holy huh. shit. Uh, what? Oh. Yeah? Huh. Uh. So concept and then. Is it. Aperture? Uh, uh, so armature. armature. Armature? The Jack Matthews and those guys? Yeah, that's probably what they. When they say the makers of Metroid yeah. Prime, right. probably who they mean. It can't be retro. More people left look retro. Yeah. It's a very Star Wars sounding. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Do, 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 I do, left do. my family back in Tatooine. Dog's dead. Why'd you build that in? <laughs> mm. <gasps> no! Throw in that other box. Yeah. Start yeah. turning into materia. Okay, so. <laughs> robots live in the sphere. Shooter puzzle platformer where you put the sphere into different things to Do make, different have, give it different shapes to. Yeah. Welcome back, buddy. <laughs> You're a robot now. Dog. Or Alex is a robot was dog, right? This is Apple 3, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We put it in that thing. <clears throat> Someone just tweeted the word recore. Hmm. Yep, there it is. Hey. No? Oh. Huh. Alright. That's cool. That's yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That neat. Like and new yeah. and unexpected. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. The head of Xbox, Bill Spencer. So they should have put the like cross on the, the orbs. It just looks like the button in the middle of the controller. Yeah. Right. yeah. Good morning and welcome. That's pre-order bonus. Investing in and shipping. Oh, oh he's going to wear a shirt. shirt. <laughs> this is critical. Wait, to our this is going to be a reveal, right? Yeah. yeah. We're proud to partner with Inafune San, Mark Pacini, and the teams at Comcept and Armature Studios to create Recore, an exclusive new first-party franchise for Xbox One. <laughs> there are people behind him facing at the wrong Xbox, way, At right? Xbox, <laughs> our mission is simple. To put you, the gamers, at the work, center man. of Keep everything we do. To build the best platform <laughs> and most reliable service for they do a reveal involving his t-shirt that has to be the last time he ever wears a t-shirt. And to enable teams <laughs> yeah. to push the boundaries yeah. no of creativity, his life. Yes. technical innovation, and of course, the t-shirt. Wrap it up on the t-shirt. Today, the t -shirt of Peter you will Moore getting see a how we're continuing <laughs> to invest and innovate for gamers across our platform, our service, our devices, and of course, our games. 
anchored by first party exclusives, we'll see a lineup of games from Chat creators, like developers, and publishers of all shirt. sizes. Yeah, I can see that. That show the breadth, depth, and diversity of the games you will get to play on Xbox. These games make up what I believe is the greatest games lineup in Xbox history. Since the launch of Xbox One, we've listened to you, the community of Xbox gamers, and we're grateful for your continued feedback. We continue to deliver monthly platform feature updates that enhance your gaming experience, and your response to the updates continues to motivate us. Last we are days. fixing it month by month. <laughs> Unfucking the situation. At the top of your request list. And while we weren't sure it was possible, today I'm pleased to announce what? Xbox One backward compatibility. What? Whoa. What? Well, that's a what? thing. Holy Whoa. shit. Dude. That's a pretty. That's fucking nuts. nuts. What? Dude, that's way. Oh, that's a. Oh. So why am I going to get it? Yeah, okay. Let's well, see. How many times? Yeah. And the games you want to continue to be played will be playable natively on your Xbox what? One. Natively. How's that? that doesn't make sense. How? Just buy them again. Our goal is to deliver the largest games catalog ever on Xbox. And Xbox One backward compatibility allows us to do just that. Please welcome Mike Ybarra, head of our platform engineering oh. team, to show us Xbox One backward compatibility in action. Blades, blades, Fine. blades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Phil. We'll have over 100 titles this okay. holiday. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. With hundreds more added in the yeah. months to come. So it's the same solution as yeah. the 360. Until you get bored of it, and then we're going to abandon <laughs> it just as quickly as we added it. Game library also, some Xbox of them don't run One. so great. Right. And retail discs will work as well. Huh. Put your disc in. Download the game and oh, you're ready to go. Okay. Uh, okay. There it is. Let's take a look. Huh. Put the with disc one of my in download. Favorite okay. Xbox 360 okay. Game. And what I do with the disc? Like the Blu-ray drive would probably be too slow to, right. to run a game off of anyway. Yeah. So you have to. I wonder if Gears of War will not be one of those games. <laughs> First, first, the game first runs exactly like it does on it Xbox is, especially the last level of the first game. Yeah. To the power of Xbox that Live. game was kind of a mess on the 360. I love that game, but it was a mess. Like it ran really badly. You'll get to play multiplayer with your friends on Xbox 360, and you'll get to take advantage of Xbox One features like screenshots, broadcasting, game DVR, and game streaming with the Xbox app on Windows 10. That's We've made this play. easy for game developers, too. They just need to approve titles showing up. No work is required on their part to make all of this possible. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Weird. An initial set of backward compatible titles are available today for Xbox preview members. There it is. It will be everything. available for everyone I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have this just holiday. Out of that <laughs> Damn it. What are the, With are Xbox those games? One backward compatibility, we won't charge you to play the games you already own. It's Thanks. a good spin on and that. Say on like, hey, yeah. like PlayStation Now streaming is a fucking yeah. dumb idea. Uh, yeah. yeah. Did uh, they did they address Thanks, XBLA Mike. games? Yeah, they said digital. Now, oh, how man. you play yeah. is as important as what you play. Well, we're incredibly proud of our Xbox One controller, but whether you're a console gamer, a PC gamer, or both, we know many of you want more, more customization, more precision, and more control in your gaming experience. Let me introduce you to the Xbox Elite wireless controller coming this fall. Uh, yeah? Or, uh, Hi, I'm an Xbox controller. And I'm Elite. <laughs> what is that? I've got a 3.5 millimeter jack. You should get, definitely get Keith David to do these. Yeah. He's Elite. You know? What the fuck? Oh, 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 it's got those triggers. Like all the triggers uh, that get fucking modded into Call of Duty controllers and shit, they're putting those in. Like paddles? Like the scuff controllers or whatever. This is really yep. weird. weird. Adjustable pro. Mm -hmm. What is that? What is that? What is that? Yeah, trigger locks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, for quicker mm -hmm. trigger yep. pull. Yeah, shorter throw on the triggers. Yeah. To, that's what I'm never looking. I don't know about the D pad. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, look at what? Oh, man. They're really into the Fallout crafting system. Oh, my God. Dude. I'm going to lose all of those. This is insane. Okay, full on, Show a normal like, D-pad Full on remap there? stuff. Min max. Yeah, this, oh this is a lot of the stuff that they, like those scuff and all those other companies yeah, that do yeah. controllers. It's sort of the, 
They just raise the buttons up? Well. Weird. I never would have, I wouldn't have thought that this would have been a big enough market for them yeah. to like, pursue officially. Yeah. Some people are going to love that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. There are people that swear by oh, yeah. all those modded I want to try one. That was cool. That was crazy looking. Hey, Todd. Get a good night's sleep. Thank you so yeah. much. It is great to be back here. And even better to see so many familiar faces. We had an amazing experience on Xbox 360 doing Oblivion, Fallout 3, Skyrim. And we're excited to finally bring what's special about our games to Xbox One. We like to build the biggest, craziest game worlds we can. And when that world is Fallout, they work or not. nothing else is fun to build. <laughs> In Fallout 4, you experience the events of a nuclear war. Forced to abandon your home, you take shelter in an underground vault. Events transpire and you emerge 200 years later, the sole survivor of Vault 111. This is an enormous dynamic oh, world where you, where you can create any kind of character you want, Maybe. go wherever you want, and do whatever you want. Player freedom is our number one goal. Same footage from last yeah. time. Yeah, same character. They didn't do this, like this, mm. this opening no. bit. I thought they did. No, they, they, they definitely they did. showed this. They did some my character, Phil. Oh, they did not do this. <laughs> Here on your Pip-Boy, you can see all of my appropriate stats. <laughs> it's charisma's uh, 10. My items yeah. and such. And we really want to make this come to life. Unlucky. So much so, we've even <laughs> built a second screen experience that mimics the Pip-Boy on your smartphone. It works amazing. Mention of smart This is there. running on a next generation version of our creation engine. Features full physical based rendering. It's not as well an Xbox as dynamic one, volumetric but... lighting. This is all the same spiel and yeah. footage from last night. Yeah. But you know, like uh, it's probably you order of magnitude more people watching this. Yeah. This is on television. Robot, this, you know, still yeah. waiting. As I live and breathe. Have a Mickey dinner. Oh, it's it's really you. Codsworth? You're you're still here. So, other people could still be alive, too. It's worse than I thought. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. What? Food? Y yeah, sure. I, I need a minute to think. Then I'll be right back. He didn't do the 200 years later. After for dinner, returning to so. your neighborhood, you then start exploring like this world. Over certain pieces yeah. There here. are many people you can meet, as well as faithful companions. Hey, boy, what are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? <laughs> okay then, let's stick together. It does feature first-person combat as well as our bat system. That's yeah, we only saw the dog mauling mutants last night. <laughs> like the two screws hey, for the site. You. Yeah. yeah. You see that laser musket on the ground? Grab it and head inside. You got a group trapped in here. Please. This laser musket is one of our signature weapons in the game. You crank it and then let it loose. Lasers. Muskets. New and old. You know. <laughs> like Boston. <laughs> Looks better. That went into the slowdown from the aim down sights thing. Yeah. Man, I don't know who you are, but your timing's impeccable. Preston Garvey, as you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Yeah, a month ago, so. there were 20 of us. <laughs> a Yesterday, bomb went off. there were eight. I don't know, hundreds of years ago. It's been kind of fucked Number up ever five. since. Face doesn't really move right anymore. I'll help if I can. I really like Team Fortress. Well, we do have one idea. Uh oh. This all. <clears throat> you think Microsoft announces some kind of exclusivity thing here? Could be yeah, like you'll have like 60 minutes of new quests. Yeah. I get a new companion. Skins for your dog. Yeah, dog skin. You play as the dog from Rico. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. Yeah. Like maybe you can actually play it as a shooter. Yeah. yeah. Every use bats again. I'll break that. Uh, I like that. Yeah. I'll, do, yeah, I'll use both. Like, yeah. best of both worlds there. 
Like, I'm totally fine with just, you know, shooting well, with the, whatever, the crit but... stuff, it seems like, you know, Bats has a, a purpose, even if you right. don't need the assistance or whatever. Yeah. Shoot it. For me, it was more about the shitty dice rolls going on behind the right, right, The RPG right. aspect of the shooting like made it less difficult. Lining up a shot and having it not hit is not fun. Yeah. There's like something burned in my mind about that, like uh, the sound of like the shoo -ching, shoo -ching. Yeah. 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 I like kind of just want to hear. This stuff From seems... here, you'll explore the most ambitious game world that we have ever created. The stuff that was happening there seemed interesting, if only because it, it felt more scripted the way a lot of shooters are. Like it felt like, oh, there's these encounters are setting up this death cluster to pop out yeah. of a thing. Yeah. And, which is part of why the shooting, like the shooting hasn't felt great before, but also the combat is just been like there are bad guys uh, yeah. shoot them they're in a gas station right, right. Oh, they're just gonna on. run at you yeah mm. i'm ready i'm ready to go back in yeah oh, thank you out. like i said it's great to be back here working with the amazing folks there at microsoft go. many of whom we've worked with for 15 years going back to morrowind on the original xbox yeah and you know what we would not <laughs> be here really HD. without the support they, they gave us on. then and the support they give us now. But I have bugged them for the last 15 years for one feature what? I wanted. Um, there you go. And working together, it's finally happening. As early. you know, modding is a big part of what we do. Oh, what? Uh -huh. It is all about making Snap it your own. I'm excited to announce <laughs> that mods created what? on the PC will be able to be transferred, played, and shared for free on Xbox One. Wow. For free. For free. <laughs> for free. Jeez. How is I wonder How is that going to work? I wonder if PS4 Thanks would also again. Do that. Games the coming way, out Unreal November 10th. We hope you love it. Thanks. PS3 would take mods from the PC. Please like well, the Jackie way. Chief Chief operating uh, officer. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, it could. Yeah. Maybe it's Peter probably would have to go through some kind of approval yeah. to end up there or something. Or like use a shared so asset pool that yeah. is. Slow right. strut here. <laughs> Always great to be here on the Xbox stage, kicking off E3 with my friends and partners from Microsoft. And such exciting news from Phil that we'll be able to bring some favorite EA titles from the Xbox be a downloadable 360 copy of 360 Fallout 3 or something with, with the game, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that's a yeah, it's a Fallout 3 included with Fallout 4. But now, as you know, in the last version, year, right? we yeah. built a great new service in EA Access Ooh, right. on Xbox I One. Accidentally it helps you do three oh, right. simple things. I, can't, I, I don't know how to cancel it. I signed up for a year, so it hasn't expired yet. But I... It's the best of EA. I signed up for so we can do Battlefield Hardline stuff. Only yeah. on Early. Xbox One. Jason's still paying for that? I know a lot of you out there are excited to yep. play our next big <laughs> title, Madden NFL 16, when it launches on August the 25th. So Madden. <laughs> you'll be the first to play starting on August the 20th. The same goes for Need for Speed and all of our other upcoming titles. With EA Access, you're going to get to play EA's newest releases before anyone else. Members also have unlimited exclusive access to The Vault, the constantly growing collection of EA's biggest and best games for Xbox One. All these titles you see behind me are ready to download and play as much as you want, whenever you want. And it's about to get even better because this week we're dropping a tight stuff. on it. Titanfall is joining the EA Access Vault this week. Mm. We'll start the summer. Yep. Do not take we'll an applause break. We'll start the summer there. with Titanfall, <laughs> like, cool. and then you can keep going. In, but in the world of status, because later this summer we're bringing the epic Dragon Age Inquisition to the EA Access Vault on Xbox One. Now let's not forget, <laughs> EA Access members also get 10% off in the Xbox Store on full game downloads like FIFA 16, in-game content like FIFA Ultimate Team Packs or the latest expansion in Battlefield. For all of you out there that would love to play first, play more, and play for less, come give EA Access a try. In fact, we're going to help it's you out segment. with that. Yeah, this yeah. week, in celebration of E3, we're opening up the EA Access Vault to all Xbox Live Gold members. That's right, all 12 titles. Just download just the EA members? Access app on your phone <laughs> and play as much as you want for free. Bill, Gary, want. Catherine, you get it all. This really does feel like them just trying to find something. Before I go, I've got some news yeah, that I think you're really going to like. 
Because of your passion for the insanely fun Plants vs. Zombies franchise, I'm excited to announce today Plants vs. Zombies Garden, Garden Warfare. Warfare 2. Debuting in the vault, because really. <laughs> this will be the funniest, craziest, most over the top shooter experience you've ever played. It's not. We're tapping into the heart of what we're doing and you adding know. new characters, new worlds to explore, brand new ways to play, and tons more. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 arrives next spring, and here is the exclusive world premiere trailer. Next spring. Thanks, everyone, and have a great E3. Hype meter on the negative end. Yeah, huh. currently. Yeah, a, lot people, a lot of people really like Garden, Garden Warfare. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no. I, I never really got Since into it. Since the dawn of time, plants have protected so suburbia. It's flipping around like zombies. XCOM 2 does. But now the world has changed. Welcome to Zombavia. Oh, huh. Um. Really? Sure. Yeah. The EA, the EA tracks people on the phone. I gotta go for our trailer. The legendary yeah. EA tracks people. Please. I don't... I don't know. No, it's just a song choice. Like it's not a good one. This should have been for Forza or something. You know, I want to see a yeah. car cruising down a road. Yeah, maybe. Even. Yeah. It feels like the entire meeting for this was what's a song that would be funny? Danger Zone. That's yeah. funny. It's not. It's a good song. It's a great song. Like I know, like booking stuff for your press conference is sort of like a political thing. Yeah. And, like at some point, you're like, I guess we probably need to have EA on here, but. I would have maybe said like, "Hey, bring, bring it, like more, like yeah. well, give us a Mass Effect, give us." But something. I guess like you know the EA Access stuff is only on Xbox One. Yeah, yeah. And isn't like Sony doing marketing stuff with Battlefront and no. Star Wars stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That, so, really, that is. There are limits. Sure. I, I mean, EA is going to do different games with different right. partners. And, you know, they're going to how they're going to go. All right. Sure. The Ford Motor Company was born on the racetrack. Here we go. It's a racing legacy that propelled the company into 1966, when Henry Ford II, Ford, uh, the GT40, okay. and an international <laughs> super team stunned Simulator, the racing play world as Henry by Ford. finishing 1-2-3 at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. In the following years, the GT not only went on to defend its championship in oh, the right, race of their the cover century, um, it dominated the decade, becoming a legend in motorsports. The crowd cheers, the champagne bottles pop. Now, on its 50th anniversary, the GT is back. And its racing legacy lives on. Lowering a car from the yes, ceiling? Yes, they are. Developed in a secret studio beneath Ford's engineering center, the Is this a commercial for the car? Begun. Yeah, they, they did mean, a big deal with Ford. Like, Ford and 6 got announced at the unveiling of this car. No Stunning kidding. Huh? Yeah, yeah. 2015. Ford actually announced the game. Yeah. yeah. In 2016, right, no damage modeling on this car. Cars is a good time to get some coffee. Are you going? He drives away. Yeah, I would love some coffee. Hey, hey, uh, hey, uh, what? He's been racing. Can I get some coffee? <laughs> What's that? Can I get some coffee too? Uh, I'll see what I can do. I'm over on your side of the table. Uh, yes. If there is any Diet Coke or Coke Zero, I would love some. Ladies and gentlemen, some cream and from some Ford Motor or something. Company, Henry Thank you. Ford the Third. No, get out of the car. Oh, get out of the car. Oh, is he in the car? Yes. He's in the trunk. Are they in the car? No, they're not in the car. Oh, they should have out of the car. Boo! Like, I'm not getting loaded from the ceiling in a car. Racing. Forza has built a reputation for innovation, quality, and dedication to its fans. Partnering with Forza allows us to bring the Ford GT to everyone. Yeah. Thanks, Henry. Yeah, we you all can't get afford one. it. Forza Motorsport <laughs> is the most beautiful, the most technically advanced, and the biggest game we've ever built. Let's take a look. Yeah. Xbox One exclusive. Brought to you by Ford. Bad pianos. Yeah. Ford stars. GT is a helicopter. <laughs> When I started off as a oh, shit, so I thought my life was over. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, Raising the car back up. Later, car. Bye, car. <laughs> oh, Bye. Beautiful. Wow. It is oh, I thought this was single American the Beautiful. Me too. That's what I thought it was. It's the 
There's the Kelvin that pees on Chevy logos. Exclusive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the game comes with two stickers, one to put on your car, and another one to put on your Xbox, right. is Calvin pissing on the Sony logo. Right. Okay, so there's your wet roads. World famous locations. Like how many of those world famous locations have been in the last three Forza games? World famous locations. I mean, Jeff. They're, they are still world famous. Yeah, they got I get famous it. from that last I game. I get it. Didn't the last one only have like a? Did not have nearly as many of the tracks as usual, didn't it? Five. It was a good number. I don't yeah. know. I, I don't have a problem with track count. I want to see him play it. Play the game. You, you drive the cars. I want to see how pretty it looks. There you go. Wait, but that's not right. That's not, wait, they mixed all the cars together. Can you do that in other Forza games? That was an F1 car racing we're, we're with other part cars. of the remix generation, Vinny. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We put whatever cars we want on the that track. That car's like oh, an yeah. inhale. Oh, okay. Can I put a new faceplate on it? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, all right. World Wood premiere. <laughs> is that Cap There's oh, Dark there Souls. Okay. Yep. Okay. You guys, that's a bonfire. That's where you can like, you know, I don't see okay. if you can get more Estes flasks. All right. I miss Estes flasks so much. Well, you're in luck. Yeah. Estes flasks have returned <laughs> in Dark Souls 3. Hey, Brad? Where, where's Brad? Brad. Do you go to the bathroom? Maybe. Oh. Poor Brad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor boy. Armored core looks weird. <laughs> Don't fucking tease me. <laughs> Still Forza. I'm the only person in this city who cares about armored core. But this, I do this is give a fuck. Ring. Oh wow, look at that big guy with look the face. Big guy. Oh, hey, man, right. look at that big guy. Hold me. Hold me. I mean, maybe face really little. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if he's big. This is the Ant-Man game. Stop jumping to conclusions. Dark Souls 3, you small. <laughs> Vomit Fords. <laughs> <laughs> his and that wrist and that thing extends uh -huh. out. Oh, that's all right. Okay. Cool. Big faceless monsters. Early 2016. Okay. Oh, the Dark Souls is weird. We were always told it might come to this. That one day. Everything we ever knew. Vision? Could yeah, I might maybe. Oh. Uh, yep. Yeah. It was a weaponized virus. One by one, we began to fall. Okay. I was wondering. I didn't People know what he said. I was like, oh, weaponized virus. Okay. Yeah. Until society as we knew it collapsed. Well, Brad, are you, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you did. Dark Souls 3. Yeah, you missed Dark Souls 3. Yeah. There's a trailer. That's all they did. There's a it big was a guy. Signal yeah. That the normal lives we led were gone. That gun just sounds we like somebody got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little turret, you know? Just making little fart noises. We are the division. All three of you? We don't know how many of us there are. It's not much three. Division. There's three. For what it will take to save what remains. But there is one thing we do know. We're the division. This game so is like destiny. 
I don't know. That guy was. But sadder. Not be any hope for tomorrow. Not all that space junk. If we don't fight for today. But I, I still understand. So like, maybe they'll explain. Who are you fighting? Why are there? Why are there guys? We'll have more to say about uh, the division. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Check your pit boy. It's ten about six hours. Okay. okay. Is that the subtitle? Once the solid <laughs> society falls, we rise. Well, the game was rising this welcome. year. Yeah. President Vibes Vibes rising up. Someone in our chat saying like they know that the division has been in development for over Bonjour. eight years. Huh. Bonjour. What you just saw is footage from our next chapter in the Tom Clancy family. The division is a deep, realistic action RPG that feels personal. This is New York. You belong in that world. Mm. You recognize it. You could be there. I could be, but I'm here. <laughs> Thanks. A secretly trained agent, which video games will make possible for you? Our Tom Clancy games and Xbox have a shared DNA since the original Ghost Recon shipped on the very first day of the Xbox Live service. Since then, live players have been among, among our most passionate fans. That's why I am pleased to announce that Xbox One players will be the first ones to try The Division via an exclusive beta this December. Now, if you're an Xbox Clancy fan, I have more. Xbox On October Clancy. 13, we launch Rainbow Six Siege, <laughs> the next installment in the Rainbow franchise. Think simple, Fun gaming roots blessed with next gen technology. Blessed with players love it next for the gen technology. Hashtag blessed for with me, next gen technology. It's the destructible environments that really hit the spot. When Siege comes out, fans of the series will also be able to play the full versions of award winning Rainbow Six Vegas and Vegas 2 thanks to the backward mm. compatibility on Xbox One. Eyeing your backwards compatibility Better releases yet. to the releases of your new games seems like Better a yet. crappy... Better yet, those two games will come free Okay, there you go. with Rainbow Six Siege. Okay, into that. Fuck it! We're gonna get a lot of that. We're gonna get a lot of that. Yeah, like that's an easy exclusive. Until then, let's take a look at this groundbreaking game. Easy platform game. thing to bundle in. Thank you. Running through the six with my woes. This is Drake, the blessed emoji. Okay, setting up in the plane. Up. Looks like bombs in the back on the right. Yeah, that's it. All right, let's go. Rick, you and Shane go up top like you did last time. Right behind you. Go on right. Oh, attack or defend. You're locking oh, it down. That's... I wow. see him. Yep, two barricades on the left. I'm, I'm Ready? super interested in this game. I have you to do? Go I played that lick of it. Alpha. No. Go. Got him. Right there. Right it's there. Neat. Right on you. It's neat. I don't know. But having like that, just that, how, like the alpha just having kind of like the one level. Oh, it was, or, it, it was the house level and it was this level. Oh, was it? Okay, like, I, I only saw the house level. Up and yeah. Yeah. So like, you know, you play that house level a handful of times, so you're like, okay, yeah, there I get it. six ways this can go. Yeah. And like, it, it's the Kane and Lynch problem of like, you know, yeah, it, it could be super dynamic, but yeah. once you learn how to play it, there are only two choke points at which people will turn rogue. Right. Or there's only three ways to really run it. You know? Or payday to you, know, like hey, the AI is where the AI is. Right? So you're saying this would need a ton of maps. They this yeah, this would need a ton of maps, a lot of constant rotation to work. And the maps are really small, so what I mean, if people could make their own maps and then snap them Windows into the game. 10 snap and each. Xbox One snap exclusive. Uh oh. Oh, this is gigantic. What is this? A big big lot. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's a good character. Finding design. out the other day that you're a big Pixies fan oh. was a heartwarming moment. Hey, what's it called later? It's a. This is a, a basically a third-person action MOBA. I've, oh. I, I'm in the so alpha. Calm down. I've, I've played. I've played the alpha for this. Oh, I thought it was you. You had me at like third-person yeah. uh, action. action. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for breaking my heart. <laughs> also, yeah, you I missed mean... the Dark Souls stuff, okay? <laughs> gonna hurt you. The thing is like if something if a mob is gonna finally get me, it's gonna be one that looks like this and or that looks unique in an interesting way and is a third person action thing, right? Like that's probably what's gonna Yeah. 
What a sure. Just got you. No. Good, good luck. She's real pretty. Yeah, well, that's, yeah. I kind of want to play around in this world, but. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've played a few matches of this, but I can't remember what the NDA is. <laughs> Probably shouldn't talk about it. So it's a behind the back MOBA? Yeah. The Ancient is a giant monster like that. It's not a stationary thing in a base, it's a monster that moves around. <clears throat> Can it die on the field if you use it? Yeah, like killing the other team's mon big monster is the objective. A brawl is surely oh, Cuphead looks yeah. fucking so good. Right. Okay, so here good. we go. We had ourselves so cool. Uh, so still, we get like, yeah. just like last year, like yeah. three seconds yeah. of it. Yeah. Uh, uh oh, that's so here. crazy. Ooh. Is this, is this the game spot feed or is oh. this uh No, because the lower third was up there with no uh, oh, there we go. Switch to the live backup. Man, you know, that guy actually playing all the demos. Right. <laughs> Two or three indie studios are really fucking bummed right yes. now. But yeah. games did not make oh, it. that's heartbreaking. Game four. Yeah. Yep. There's one. There you go. Hope we're happy. Austin. Listen, two, one. You know, yeah. it's not quite the presentation you got before, no, but no. Whoa. Huh. Okay. Kind of looked like a jungle strike. Ooh, type yeah. Game or yeah. 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 Uh, army men? Uh, it looked like army men. I mean, that, like, that, that happened. Are any yeah. army men coming out? Finally. <laughs> Some one person bought the army men on key. Like, I'm gonna bring Jonathan back. Blows <laughs> army Xbox, Chris Charla. Hey everybody. Hey. What you just saw was a sampling of the titles coming from the more than 1,000 independent developers making Xbox One and Windows games as part of the ID at Xbox program. You know, enabling creators to realize their visions and deliver incredible new experiences to Xbox players around the world is what the ID at Xbox program is all about. And it's been awesome Last time to see I went the level to the Xbox press conference, I sat right next to Chris Charla. Developers have already had on Xbox. Finally put him up on stage and where he belongs. We're really just at the start. Now, last I'd year, like to introduce so, you yeah. to some amazing creators like whose year, games like, are going to be debuting Steve. exclusively on Xbox One. Hi, I'm Steve Gaynor from Fullbright. Hey. Whoa. When we created Gone oh, Home, shit. we wanted to tell a very small, personal story. So we created a Are game they doing the Sony indie thing? Are there like house. indie developers going to appear from all over the place? Tacoma, we wanted to push again. ourselves to explore new ideas oh, and new frontiers. Probably toy soldiers. What is life oh, like right. in a place that's completely unfamiliar to you and me? A place that's beyond the bounds of Earth? And what has happened to the crew of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma? Tell me. Control, come in. Control. Did did this show at Sony last year? Hello? Was it, was it uh... It was the, the v new VGA thing, or whatever they called it. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. where is the crew? That information has been classified. What That's am I cool. going to find behind this door? Yeah. Connect. <laughs> yeah, right, you gotta memorize that whole <laughs> thing. <connect> support. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> My one password, I gotta look up the hand signals. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, who will be the next indie to appear on the stage? <clears throat> Hi. I'm, I'm over here. Bradley from Aurora 44. <laughs> Max Temkin. Our small team in New Zealand has set out to create a harsh, open world to explore. One where it's up to you to determine who is friend and who is foe, in a place where player-to-player -player relationships are key to survival. But who to trust, who to fight, and who to run away from are all decisions you must make for yourself. Thank you. All right. Let's get it going. All right. What is this? Ashen? Ashen? Ashen. Yeah. Looks cool. Looks cool. Yeah, it's good. And player-on-player -player combat never been so real. Here's a stick. Good luck. <laughs> it's 
So are like faceless characters the new thing now? These are like Dark Souls, like having no face. Yeah. You know, what was that other Dark Souls style game that was? Nobolja? Yeah, Nobolja. Yeah, yeah that's kind of, yeah, kind of a little bit. Oh. Oh. Lighting. Oh. oh, buddy. Uh, that's a bummer. Oh, we got God. Spoilers for Ashen. Yeah, looks cool. Yeah, nice look. Yeah. yeah. Cool logo too. Or like people hate on like, oh, there's not enough color in things, but you can do that in a way that's still interesting. Yeah, visually. it's a stylistic choice. So for sure. Wow. Yeah, this looks neat. You have to jump on that thing and kill it, and it's weak point. Oh. The last guardian. Yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Sharon from Tiger and Squid. Beyond Eyes is the story of Ray, a young girl who, for the first time in her life, has to leave the safety of her childhood home and go explore the outside world. But being blind, Ray has to visualize the world through other senses, hmm. such as hearing, touch, and smell. I made Beyond Eyes because I wanted to share with the world a story of hope. If we embrace the challenges that life throws at us, and if we open ourselves up to new experiences, it can be a beautiful world. That's for how you represent August. Oh, okay, it's kind of. Mm -hmm. The uh, unfinished swan. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. But obviously much more colorful. Yeah. yeah this is gorgeous. Good color work here. Like watercolory. Yeah. Concept, too. Yeah. Yeah, I do want to know why she fell over when she saw that dog. Hi. She didn't see I'm Chad the dog. from Studio MDHR, and this is my brother Jared. A few years ago, when we first sat down to sketch yes. Cuphead, Here we, go. we had no idea that character would eventually be the star of his own Xbox game. At that point, the only thing we were certain of is that we wanted our. Well, I really game wanted to grow to a beard. <laughs> of a well, here it is. 30s cartoon. <laughs> and the precision of a classic 16-bit platformer. With the help of Microsoft, we have brought our sketch to life. Today, we are excited to give everyone a quick peek into the world of Cuphead. That's dirty sometimes. Yeah. 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 So we Cuphead. Mug, Mug man. man. All right. Do that. <laughs> Finally, a game in which I explicitly work for safe, <laughs> as opposed to every other game where it's only implied. Soundtrack by the world not zippers. Oh, oh god, that looks, looks so, so cool. good. Oh. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yo, look at those backgrounds. Frog with boxing gloves. Is this game like two minutes long? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the it. Boss We'd like rush. to show you yeah. all of. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> so out next year. Yeah. yeah. That's rad. Um, <laughs> those last four titles really show the breadth of experiences that Maybe independent developers are bringing here, to think. Xbox One today. Up there. And we'd like to really thank those creators for joining us on stage and sharing a peek at the experiences they'll be bringing to Xbox One and Windows 10. Now. I'd like to talk about a new pilot program we're launching for independent developers called Xbox Game Preview. Game Preview is a new type of offering that lets gamers buy and play a selection of games while they're still in active development. It enables the community to get involved and even help shape the final outcome with their feedback. Damn. So this type of early God access gaming is already popular on PC, and yeah. we're excited to offer it Listen, to if you players. want your consoles to be more like we PCs, want to make sure this is it the way it's going to go. In a way that makes sense. Not so every game sense. in the program okay. has a free trial, so you can play it and then make an educated decision okay. on whether you want to jump in early or wait and see how development progresses. Okay, all right. 
We'll be launching a select number of games into the Xbox Game Preview over the next year, including the following titles. The Long Dark by Hinterlands, Sheltered from Unicube, Elite Dangerous from Frontier, and Daisy from Bohemian <laughs> Interactive. Dangerous is going in as Pretty cool. early yeah. access. I didn't know this, this game that's if done on like PC. If you'd like to join the Xbox Game Preview community Daisy and get was, involved, you can do it starting Daisy? today. Oh, Later this afternoon, so. The know. Long Dark huh. and Elite Dangerous will be available for download huh. on your Xbox hmm. One. So are they oh. demos? Please give them a try. The demos can't wait. Are they limited vertical thing. slices, quote unquote? No, there's no I think way. it'll be different for now, different games, right? Depending go, on where they are in development. Like it could just be an unoptimized version of Elite Dangerous. early access game development. To talk about his new IP, which is going to be launching exclusively on PC and Xbox One. Notch. Please welcome the creator of Daisy, no, okay. Dean no. Hall. Really, only two ways you can go with like the originators of early access, and it's. I want a game. Yeah. Here are some games that will never be done. I want a game that is a universe, a universe built not on scripts or quests, but on the laws of physics, biology, and chemistry. A simulation MMO that explores mankind's expansion into space. The chance to be a pioneer in a harsh universe, swamped with the risk of death, yet peppered with the havens of fortune. Where's he from? For Australia? the past year, I have been working Australian with a technology or, or, company, no, Improbable, no. to turn my long-term prototype <laughs> into a reality. New Zealand. New Zealand? It worked. We are the architects of this new universe, but you, the players, through Xbox One game preview and PC, will govern. He's its openly destiny. saying PC. In the past years, it's been just like on Xbox, and afterwards, they also PC. Hmm. So, probably a policy change on the Microsoft right. side. Right. Windows 10, Windows 10, yeah. Windows 10. Oh, has this been talked about before? No, no, no. no. I just mean in general. Uh, in the past, it's just been, this is an Xbox oh, thing. Oh, sure. <laughs> I am. I am. I think I'm for a second, I was like, man, DayZ got weird. <laughs> I, thought, I thought they were doing it in a drift demo there for a second. Yeah. You need to, like, look away, Alex. Yeah. No, I'm all right. I'm so all right. Is space I'm like a little woozy, but I'm all right. Is this that game that not cares about? <laughs> <laughs> that thing sounded so cool. It's so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, a few people in the chat saying Space Z. <laughs> I hope not. If this turns out to be a space zombie game, then I'll... Uh -oh. Come on. Someone needs to pop the shrink wrap there. And there's creepy shit! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from Crystal Dynamics, game director, Brian Horton. Okay, so here's your Tomb Raider bit. I'm thrilled to be here today on behalf of the entire team at Crystal Dynamics go play. to demo the world premiere oh, gameplay of Rise of the Tomb Raider. <laughs> Someone's going to play. <laughs> it's Xbox I exclusive. Holiday 2015. Controllers coming? Later this year. Okay. Oh, the, the pro controller? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I really want I want that, that thing. Yeah. yeah, I wonder if they'll grab it on the floor. I'm just going to lose all the pieces. Audio's weird. No, it's just out of the flare. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's oh, just a cave echo. Lara Croft in the thing. Yeah. I'd play that. Yeah, yep. fuck yeah. <laughs> Again, if, especially if they got Keith David. <laughs> yeah. What? Storm's getting closer. Later. <laughs> Not listening to you. I'm the Tomb Raider. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost to the top. Yeah, yeah. Their audio like is still jacked mic up. Mic on or something. There's like a, a half a frame think? delay. We're close to something, Jonah. I can feel it. Just this last stretch to the top. She's, she's a robot. She's a guest now. Yeah. <laughs> I want to get her like a, like a ski mask or something. I mean, just, I feel like her face is probably cold, right? Put Vaseline on her cheeks. That got weird for a sec. Was he gonna push her off the cliff? Or like, <laughs> I thought he was gonna stab her. Yeah. Keep your eyes open. Next gen ice formation. You ready? Let's do it. 
I mean, it took them until Tomb Raider 3 last time out before they'd put her in a snowsuit or something, wasn't it? Or was that in 2? 2, she had a Let's motorcycle. I oh, know, a jacket or something. A very she has snowsuit. Mm. Oh, no. Sunglasses. Okay. I can make it. <laughs> yeah, that, that other guy's like, Okay, later! Fuck that! <laughs> Uh, full disclosure, I'm in Rise of the Tomb Raider. Ah, yeah. Okay. Nice. I don't want to say anything. Yeah, it's... Almost there, you backed this. You got it. <laughs> My house is in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I backed it at the second highest tier, which means I get to play not Lara Croft, right, but... <laughs> on top of all those grad school debts, I also just have... I went deep into debt to be in Rise of the Tomb Raider right. too. I backed this for $35 million. It's gonna pay off in the long run, yeah. the exposure yeah. will be good for your personal brand. Yeah. Rope got longer, huh? Oh god. I mean, I'm just gonna say it. Maybe going ice climbing in the middle of a thunderstorm, not the best decision. Look, do you want to raid a tomb or not? Yeah. They could have waited for the weather to no, subside. No, they couldn't. Other people are trying to raid those tombs. Nathan Drake's gonna be there in like two days. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the cliffhanger game I've always wanted. Yep. Like John Wayne Gallagher. Okay, here goes. It's kind of a weird demo to show, right? Like, it's not a lot of interactivity. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, that's my fear about this game is they're going to double down on the scripted thrill ride stuff. Like, I, I'm not, I haven't been sure of what you've been controlling so far aside from that one button prop. Like, I assume that the actual climbing has been him pressing sticks at least. Yeah, but I mean, no. Which are you playing if you're just pushing up and hitting X once in a while? I, you I know, just, I, like the, the 45 minutes of tomb raiding in the, in the last one was my favorite part of that game. There just wasn't much of it. You know. Okay, so I guess you obviously lost. I don't know. I'm not mad. I like the throw right what? stuff. Yeah, I the first one. I thought it was oh, well wow. done. Yeah, no, no, me too. I just for for demos. But now he's obviously playing like when he had the controller. Can't fake that. Can't fake that. Controller. No, he's he brought it out on stage with him. Yeah. Like obviously, showed it. He's, he's he's pushing the buttons and everything. I really hope oh, this doesn't end in one of those gruesome deaths. I really hope. Yeah, that, that's another thing that I hope they get yeah. away from. It was <laughs> That last game had a lot of potential. But there's like three or four things I wish were very different. I liked it then. Yeah, 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 it seemed like people yeah. really liked it. I, it was, yeah, it was a good game, but I don't know. Like they were kind of going after the Uncharted formula. Hey, where's more. the other guy? I, you know super what? Dead. I'm he okay. Don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> we're he backed it at a level to get you a bit part. Yes. <laughs> there was actually like a cave with a door here. I yeah, just I went, went in. <laughs> yeah, I went in there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're doing. And they both bury the stove, they just pop, pop their abs up next to each other and go, Oh, hey! Hey, you okay? I'm okay. Boom. Holiday 25. <laughs> <laughs> you right. gotta chill out, Lara. Alright, time to solve some puzzles. Alright. Press effects. Yep, there it is. Something else dwells in the darkness of this place. But I've got to continue. <laughs> Never end the year of the I finally feel a sense of purpose again. Like I'm doing what I was meant to do. Some kind of marker. Great tombs. Yeah. That was That's trend. a tomb. Yeah, now they're showing some okay. tombs. Yeah. So, so is that what they were subtly hinting by saying that, like, doing what I'm meant to be doing? Yeah. yeah. All right, now we're talking. Jumping and climbing up. Fuck it. He's still playing? This, or what? this looks dope as hell. <laughs> <laughs> this looks dope as hell. Yeah, this looks look good. Alright. November 10th. Let's do it. Load it up. I'm ready. Load up that, that Tuesday. Wait, Xbox. did it say that? Is yeah. that the day? Yeah. Jesus. There you go, oh boy. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh yeah. Boy. Game room. 
Everyone who said yeah to Battletoads, get out. What? It was not me. Yeah! Okay. Word. Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Again, but sure. Where's Cobra trying? You I never cannot forget your first yes. game. And the more of them you play, the more of them you love. Mm. Every memory is a story to cherish and share. I didn't see it. We fought back monsters, days. saw uh, across the stars, that that achieved the impossible. Okay. We were heroes. There were games that blew us apart, Cameo. and games that brought us together. Yeah, yeah, Grab by yeah. the bullies. Whether you're really Cover Cobra Triangle. Really? Cobra Triangle's in the back there behind the yeah. Yeah. For Wait. the first time. Blast core, blast core. Let's do it. Cobra Jetman. Snake rattle there. Will never be forgotten. Perfect Dark Zero. Wow. Yeah, I've not heard this. Before. Romance Los <laughs> Horstachios. Yeah, this is 30 an appropriate games? game to put into your That's weird. Rare maze. Yeah. 30, games. 30 games, 30 dollars. Oh, wow. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Yeah. There's Epic again. What is that, like six? Yep. Conquer. Okay. That's a bolt. That's yeah, a bolt. It's like everything Swallow rare is ever made. There. Well, if they're. If it's oh just, my. Yeah. <laughs> If they've got backwards compatibility for 360 now, then putting yeah. nuts and bolts into this is not yeah. hard, yeah. right? Yeah. Jeez. Where's what? I didn't see what's cool box art. Huh. August 4th. Cool. It's a good price for a compilation. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Right. Games that are not just like arcade games either. Right. 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 A lot of stuff there. Well, Apps. work to get those. Yeah. Solar Jetman, Jet Force Gemini. Wait, did you say Solar Jetman? Yeah. 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 No Golden Eye, right? I, that would no. probably be. They'd have to go to Activision and bought like the. Solar Jetman? Solar Jetman. The Solar so, Jetman? Wait, so like Nuts and Bolts is in that? They showed him flying around the Nuts and Bolts thing. Solar Jetman? <laughs> One of the things that Rare has done consistently over three decades is evolve as a studio. Does not make another Rare Solar Jetman. Rare has redefined <laughs> genres with its own special formula, and we're ready to do that again. Today I'm proud to give you a first look at a new exclusive game from Rare. What? Right. A game that will allow our Even players to have Even unique and memorable adventures together. A shared world adventure game. Set in a fantastical world, this game will bring players together and give them the freedom to play with limitless possibilities. Minecraft 2. <laughs> this is by far the most ambitious game Rare has ever created. Super Solar Jetman. Just gets bumps on the screen. It's just the Avatar score. Store. Open World Survival. Got it. Got that rock. Mm -hmm. Make an axe. <laughs> Craft some shit. I gotta stick first. Stick first, rock second. Yep. Right. You can't. If you get the rock first. What are you gonna do That's with it? That's the name there of the game, actually. Yeah. <laughs> stick first, rock second. I mean, this does look real nice. Assuming this is in DNA. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Birds. <laughs> Connectables. Uh oh. Hey, do you oh. like pirates? Pirate. I do like pirates. That's a good shot, though. Is it going to turn into a, a Diddy here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Ramp it up. Diddy Kong. Di oh. Diddy Kong Pirates. Did you see, yep. did you guys see, right. uh, did you guys see Grant Kirkup on Twitter the other day telling that story about Diddy Kong oh, and, how, and how it was an RC Pro Am game? Oh, weird. I'll, I'll tell you later. Huh. Don't be an MMO. <laughs> hey, what's an MMO? Hey, There's what is an MMO? Wait, is this an online game where you can have your own pirate ship and yeah, pirate can, crew? I think so. Like, oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like, like some actual straight up, like, set the Caribbean, like, yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of I want a pirate yeah, and totally. I want a buckle. Yeah. <laughs> With uh, friends. No. Oh. No friends. The fuck off my boat. Pirates don't have friends. Nice and nice belt time. Hey, what's up? Later. Oh, yeah. oh <laughs> double middle fingers. They said this is gameplay. This is captured. It says real time. Real yeah. time. Okay. Okay. Oh. No. Oh. Yeah, that's a good name. I like that name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Cool. cool. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Rare okay. making. Rare making video games again. Xbox One and Windows 10 exclusive. Hmm. 
I guess I'm really selling it. <laughs> Let me tell you a story of a world of great beauty, full of promise. I'm going. <laughs> full of magic. What style looks like cameo? Does. Yeah. And lately, full of adventurers. Or is this fable? No. Uh, it's some fable music right this there. Doesn't, I don't know. This doesn't. This looks kind of fable -y. That music was a fable. Oh, there's thing. a stone door. Yeah, maybe. Sure. Yeah. Eager to explore. Is this just that Fable game? That, that like, it, four player yet? versus... Fable Legends, yeah. Yeah. Wait, did that game never come out? No. no. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's out this year. Story of Is that Lena Headey? They are intruders. It really sounds like her. In a land that sounds like Lena Headey. Does not want them. Is it called Fable Legends, Fable Heroes, something like that? Fable Heroes came like out. Uh, Heroes is a different thing. Yeah, Heroes is the one where they're like, like weird dolls, dolls or whatever, right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. This totally looks like a baby. Yeah. That one where you... Oh, wow. That's yeah, that's like the DM. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stuff, right? The Fable 3, they yeah. had that mission. What they don't have. Yeah. Obsessed. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that was that mission. And I thought that's this whole game was going to be like one player versus four. Okay. But this is not their story. Like a ball. And I will end their little fairy tale. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lena Headey, getting paid. That's a hard She's joining She's us good. from yeah. Microsoft Earthswing. Studios, Kudo Tsunoda. Kudo, okay. No sunglasses. Games like Fable Legends show our commitment to putting fans and gamers at the no center of everything we do. Hmm. Legends is free to play on both Xbox One what? and Windows 10 PCs. Oh, weird. I think they this means Fable fans running Windows 10 will be able to play with their fellow gamers on Xbox One. Anything you earn or buy on one version of the game becomes part of the experience on the other. And if you love gaming, more is coming. Windows like allows they developers zoom in on to push the boundaries he's not of creativity the sunglasses. <laughs> to deliver gamers experiences they will love, from console gaming to PC gaming, even virtual reality gaming. Today, we are proud to announce a new relationship with Valve VR. What? How many? What? Wait, hang on. <laughs> Fucking stack it up. Sure. <laughs> what? Huh. I... Fuck, all right. Come we'll on. be working closely with Valve to make Windows 10 the best platform Valve for VR Microsoft, gaming. Valve Microsoft, though. And last week, we were on the Oculus stage announcing a partnership with Oculus. The Xbox One controller will be included with every Oculus Rift at launch. I mean, at some point, if this they're going to be the Windows people, then they need to yeah. support yeah. everyone right. who is working with we Windows. We are a platform. We support and everyone Xbox who wants to do games interesting will be things. Playable yeah. on Oculus Rift. Don't show By that streaming footage. Xbox One games to Rift through Windows 10, Whoa. gamers can play the games they love on the newest devices. Microsoft's also pioneering yeah. a new era of holographic computing. An era of mixed reality. Oh, the ability right. to bring Don't. holograms into your real world. I've been living in mixed reality for decades, <laughs> In Udo. January, we unveiled Microsoft HoloLens, the world's first untethered holographic Maybe that's computer not, well, he's not wearing the sunglasses. powered by he's Windows put it on. 10. Right. Holograms mixed with your real world unlocks all new experiences, freed from the boundaries of your screen. Don't make promises you can't keep, man. So far, we have shown new ways for people to create, to communicate, to work, and to learn. Today, we are very excited to show you how Microsoft HoloLens can change the world of gaming. I'll say can, say will. Don't show prototypes, show stuff. Yeah. You know? To show you how it works, let me introduce brand director at Mojang, Lydia Winters. Lydia? Thanks, Kuna. Four years ago at E3, I met the Mojang team for the very first time. Soon after, I joined them on it's this unbelievable yeah, I, yeah, I didn't. All right. This game has changed millions of lives, including my own. In the past five years, we've been blown away by the amount of people who have been playing our game. The community's incredible creativity has taken Minecraft into places we never could have imagined. Could have imagined. Play the game. Mixed Every reality. Day, Mixed, yeah. We see new <laughs> Not and like exciting this. things. Yeah. Not like this. <laughs> On July 4th and 5th in London, we are going to have the biggest Minecraft celebration in the world at Minecon 2015. 
We can't wait to share more with the community there and be inspired by their ideas. <laughs> We're always trying to harness new technology and create new ways of playing the game. With that in mind, Please let me welcome Zach Scription from Microsoft Studios, and we're excited to be able to show a new version of Minecraft built specifically for Microsoft HoloLens. All right, mm. show me. Thank you, Lydia. Do this. To show a demo today, we're using a special camera. This guy looks like he's gonna fuck somebody this up. Yeah. Technique, <laughs> like putting a HoloLens. Come at me. I will kill you all. Allow your audience to see the hologram. Now, this How is are they doing demo with real working code. It's a, it's what a you can do. VR, it's a HoloLens on the camera. Oh, jeez. So you that, can play the Minecraft yeah. you know today on HoloLens. Zach grabbed his Xbox controller to play through a giant holographic portal into a 3D Minecraft world right on the wall. Even though I don't have a HoloLens, I'm able to play together with Zach from my Surface. Are you going to come join my game, Lydia? I'm in now. I really feel like to maximize this demo, they should have just gotten an you. army of 12-year-olds to do this demo. Yeah. One of the cool things about yeah. HoloLens is that it lets you display Minecraft virtually anywhere. You can get <laughs> different perspectives <laughs> on your Minecraft world. It's awesome to play with the controller, but could we show them something new, Sax? Sure. Let's take our experience off the wall and then put it on the table over here. Create world. Uh. Uh. <laughs> this is kind of tough to believe, but it's awesome. <laughs> right. <clears throat> I see Lydia way up there. What? <laughs> they need to show that other camera where there's nothing on the table right now. Manipulate the world using his voice and his hands. He can walk around the hologram, pan around for different viewpoints, and even look inside. What? If they're faking this, I'd be Let's so follow Lydia I mean, around. This is, it's not Zell C. Oh, this is they they showed this yeah. stuff yeah. Yeah, this is, at that hollow yeah, entrance. Yeah. yeah, this is practically what they announced originally. Yeah. Closer. All the way in. Close but the up. tracking looks amazing. Yeah. Right. What are you up to, Lydia? I'm hopping in a mine cart. Let's take a ride down to the village. We're going to pick a different perspective. Overview. True. It's incredibly cool to have Minecraft on your table. Imagine seeing your own world like this. But what if I don't have a table? <laughs> uh, shoot a Isn't loose it leaf? crazy that I see Sax just standing at the table, but through the HoloLens, he can see a whole Minecraft universe yeah, at his fingertips. He's fucking flipping out and <laughs> tripping balls hard. <laughs> you can even raise the entire world and see things that are normally hidden table? way underneath the ground. <laughs> Could you give us a sneak peek of what's under that village, Sax? Sure. Flip the Grab table. the world, lift it up. All the day you'll have good luck. underneath Lydia. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, huge stronghold right underneath. I'm gonna mark that for you. Mark that. Well, you're gonna have to find a way to break in. I see it, I'm on my way there now. I'm placing some TNT so I can blow my way into this stronghold. I, I could use the light though, Sax. Good strategy. Using HoloLens, I've access to all console like commands in Minecraft. Or something. Just using my voice. Like, or some kind but of like overview like mode. Commander view yeah. for battlefield yeah. and that yeah. sort of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Lightning Perhaps strike. Dota? No. No. Yep. no. Never. <laughs> Step back. Would you ever want to play a Dota no. game like that? No, no, but, like, no, but I would spectate one. Whoa. Black and white. There's Hololens a lot of edition. materials down there I wouldn't have seen without you. I, mean, I wouldn't want to play problem. this or anything. One more thing I want to do is lightning. See a pig it's pen a cool over feature, here. Though. I think the pigs did enough. I would watch a Dota match, like, like a replay. Like, but like, what if you were playing an isometric game? What if you had a controller? There you have it. Zombie and you pick were looking pen. at a table, and it was like you know, an isometric action game or something like that. Uh, and you manage the inputs yeah. though, because play Icewind Dale like that. Like the inputs just map to wherever you're standing, it, it knows what angle it's showing right you. Like a Starcraft Microsoft or something. Microsoft gives the community a different way to play in the world they already love. Viva pinata like that. We'll have <laughs> even saying. more <laughs> Minecraft news to share at MineCon in a few weeks. Oh, that guy's got to do a backflip out of here. <laughs> <laughs>
I will believe all of that works and gentlemen, some other time. I don't necessarily believe I mean, they just that. Yeah. 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 You're not ready for no, it? No, I'm there's not ready no, to believe in this like yet. There's no mysticism behind Ten what they're doing. Ten years ago, like Gears of War debuted here at the Xbox <laughs> E3 briefing. And this year, we're taking you back to where it all began. I left, and then... Today, I'm happy I'm to here. announce Gears <laughs> of War <laughs> Ultimate Edition. The original Gears of War completely remastered and modernized yeah, the, for the Xbox One coming logo. August yeah. 25th. It's the first at its best. Fully rebuilt in 1080p, loaded with new content and 60 frames per second in multiplayer. Wait, and you multiplayer? can play that multiplayer early in our one-week public beta that starts today. Huh. Which multiplayer is it? Is it everything? So tune in to the so Xbox Daily Live. It's a remake of Gears One, but this like, afternoon to seems learn like more. that maybe they're pulling in mechanics from other games. Oh yeah, and one games, more thing. Yeah, I, I wanted to give you a taste of something else we're working at at the Coalition. Here's your Thank controller. you. Oh shit! It's super wired. Xbox One Show the new exclusive game. world premiere. Yeah. What steps on those flowers? Mm -hmm. Grub holes in the planet. Ten years I've been looking for my do rag. <laughs> years of War has discovered a new color. Purple. <laughs> <laughs> the color purple. Nope, he just steps on it and crushes the last remaining purple on the planet. <laughs> Is it going to be Marcus? Yeah. Is it? Nope. Yes. As a we have to kill Marcus Phoenix. He's gone rogue. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Looks like it went this way. Come on. Is that Nathan Fillion? That, that actually does sound like, like Nathan, Nathan Fillion. Fillion. Nathan Fillion hunts all your favorite <laughs> heroes <laughs> this 2015 and 16. Hey, when's picking up? Is Gears 1 the only one came out on PC? And yeah, what? Watch. And Gears 1 came out yeah, on PC. Dread is the only one. It's like Resident Evil. They gave that remaster the exact right amount of time. Yeah. yeah. Hey, we're doing it. Total. Hey, there's water here. <laughs> sure that's safe? I don't know if that's the anything filling here. Yeah, it's just yeah. real water. Kind of sounds yeah, like it. stuff floating in it. Let's assume I'll live. What's up with their audio? It feels like it's like, well, they're in an echoey area now. It wasn't bad at the beginning of yeah, it. No, it wasn't. But like, I wonder what, what's up with their echo tech? New audio API. Tell me you heard that. There! It's on the move! After it! Real? Well, active reload right there. Ooh, an engine. Oh, an engine. I was a real engine. Wind flare incoming! Get inside the fort! Push button to look at thing. Yeah. Fire tornado. They're making a Gears of War game, you guys. Oh, that's cool. What's kind of awesome? Oh, come on! <laughs> yeah. His line is like, oh, come down. Yeah. Oh, come down. <laughs> oh, heck. Sucks. Jack, rip that door. Jack. Yeah, I was just gonna say what this is the story of Jack. Now we find out if that thing's in here with us. Now it sounds like Nathan Fillion again. Oh, yeah, now he's inside. Yeah. It's only Nathan Fillion's now he's, inside he's, voice. He's using yes. Yeah. <laughs> I had to race to that one. I was stumbling. Oh. Let's go check it out. Um, it's low. <laughs> oh, oh my oh, god. god. I suck. Oh, oh. Touch it. No, I shouldn't touch this. No, no, touch it. Mm. Yeah, touch it I touched it. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Gee. I'm okay. He's the first locust. Son of a I think it shorted out my flashlight. Great. Tell me about our contestants, JD! <laughs> Let's just get the hell out of here. Oh, no. 
north? Or Troy Baker? Yeah, I could, I could. I could hear north. Oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, no. All right. Just. Don't touch the pods. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> that part kind of sucks. Is he going to turn to this guy? Half locust. Giant Bomb's live coverage of E3 2015 is brought to you by Squarespace. For a free trial and 10% off, visit squarespace.com slash bombcast. Yo, that moon's kind of big. Big moon? Yeah. Okay, you're a big fella. You know. Oh, that's not good. Stuff shouldn't have that many tongues. No. Yeah, we need all those tongues. This Bloodborne DLC is real weird. Jamie, could use some help here? I the way that Gears enemies just sponge bullets yeah. on me without reacting. I've never liked that. Clicking the stick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too many tongues. It's gears of four. Gears four. Gears four war. That, that's gears of yeah. four. Gears of four. Yeah. The fourth gears. Uh, it'd be kind of cool if they just called it gears four. Yeah. yeah. Welcome back. Phil but also, it, it, seems, it yeah. seems so disconnected from oh, his it's great previous to have Giant Bomb's live coverage of E3 2015 is brought to you by Squarespace. For a free trial and 10% off, visit squarespace.com slash bombcast. Trailblazing independent games from a new wave of creators who are redefining game development and game play. All anchored by the best exclusives on one any more, platform. One more announcement. One Xbox more. Yeah, is the so. only place where you they can play. Was that big of a deal to be the big last thing? Legend, I know. Yep. Forza Motorsport 6, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and of course Halo 5 Guardians. Second there, all I thought he was going to say Rise 2. I was like, no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This lineup is supported by Xbox Live and our commitment to make your gaming experience better. With an expanded library of games with backward compatibility, new gaming hardware and accessories, access to great games first with EA Access, next generation virtual and mixed reality gaming experience, and access to games in early development with the Game Preview Program. There truly has never been a better time to be an Xbox gamer. If you've been waiting to move from your Xbox 360, now is the time. Huh. Please. Yeah. Please. <laughs> yeah. yep. Please now. Today, we've shared only a fraction of what's coming to Xbox One and Windows 10 this holiday and next. We have more surprises in store this week on the Xbox Daily Show, including the unveil of a whole new Xbox One user experience oh. and more new games coming to Xbox One. This summer, we look forward to bringing exciting features from Xbox Live and some of the most popular Xbox games and experiences to Windows 10 when it launches this July 29th. And at Gamescom in August, you'll see the latest from Quantum Break, Scalebound, Crackdown, and new first-party game reveals. Thank you for joining us this morning. It's your expectation your dedication, and your passion for games that motivates and inspires not only me, but every single member of Team Xbox. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, well, yeah. <clears throat> I guess here's your montage. Arr. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah Sea of Thieves, I think, was the big surprise. Yeah. Oh, I like that, the, the robot dog game. Yeah, that was yeah. cool, too. Recore. Recore. Yeah. yeah. No Call of Duty, like we, we kind of yeah. suggested. Yeah, yeah. I think that's something that wet, whether they've got <laughs> it or not, yeah, it's not stage worthy anymore. You know? Right. Uh, uh, Call of Duty maps. Oh, yeah. Backwards compatibility. Such There's a, a weird move. Yeah, that's yeah, cool, yeah. but. There's a list of the available backwards compatibility okay. games starting today. It's a, it's a it, there's some stuff on here. Yeah. Banjo Kazooie right. Nuts and Bolts. Yeah. Okay. Right. Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Tooie. Okay. It's a, it's a long list. I'm not going to read all of it. Geometry Wars. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. You know. If I could play original Geometry Wars on that. Is Gears on that list? Yep. Gears is not on this list. <laughs> Finally, get that last achievement. How about uh, Halo? Halo is not on this list. Really? Yeah. Weird. Europe and Yacht is on this list. All right. So I, I'm wondering how many things with a remastered right, right. layout right. will end up there. Well, if it's up to the the publisher to approve a game for backwards compatibility, then yeah. at some point they're the ones saying, no, don't, right. -uh. yeah. no, 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 yeah. no. Right, but if that publisher's Microsoft, yeah, then <laughs> we were going to sell that thing again. Yeah. Right. How about uh, Forza? Forza's not on this list. Hmm. I want you to just run, yeah, run down, down the, list the whole list. Okay, Let's Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie, Battle Block Theater, Defense Grid, Geometry Wars Evolved, Hexic HD, that's an okay. important one, right. <laughs> Jetpack Refueled, <laughs> Cameo, Mass Effect 1, Perfect Dark, Perfect Dark Zero, Small Arms, Super Meat Boy, mm. Toy Soldiers, Toy Soldiers Cold War, Viva Pinata, and Viva Pinata Trouble in Paradise, what was the name of that second game? Yeah, that's, TIP. yeah. yeah. Tip. Wait, that wasn't yeah. 100 games? No, well, no this is today. for the preview. This is today. Oh, this right is today. Yeah, oh, this okay. is the preview yeah, program yeah. rollout. So. I was not going to read 100 <laughs> games. Okay. I was ready for it. It's yeah. for Wick and the Fable of Souls. Right. Yeah. Uh, but, that, <laughs> but yeah, backwards compatibility. That's that's a real interesting move. Yeah, because you know, typically we think of that as something that you do at launch in order to ease the transition for people. I guess right. They but if there, yeah. I mean, a lot more people bought 360s yeah. than you know have an Xbox One <laughs> yeah, right now. So there are probably still plenty of people. I mean, they did not put too fine a point on it at the end there. Yeah, I guess so. Like, hey, if you, it's time. It's make it happen here. Yeah, yeah, I mean, help. They're, they're still behind. You know, they still need to build audience. Yeah, yeah, uh, and you know the Xbox 360 did quite well for them. So and hey, retailers who sell used games probably happy. Sure, yeah. Though the like put the disc in, download it. I wonder what that that how that works. That's a good point. Uh, you have to download something because they're going to be, you know, there will be a new executable that they have to pull. Right, right. Right. Like, right. But can I just can I give? Do you share it? Do they care at that point? Oh, right. I'm sure the disc still has to be in the drive. To yeah, play it just it. doesn't spin. Think, uh, yeah, right. yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Mm. That kind uh, of stinks a little bit. I mean, whatever. It's I mean, that's uh, yeah. All the yeah. you know, all, that's how, that's all the disc-based yeah. games yeah. work that way. You know, you're not running anything off a disc on an Xbox One ever. Right. It just yeah. installs yeah. and you yep. and you yeah. run it. So, uh, I wonder if it can install a lot of the data from the disc and then it just has to download a little bit to yeah, you know would, for the whatever the emulation profile is or, or whatever so. they're doing. Do you think they'll offer those games for sale? Uh, like on the marketplace? Well, digital games will come over. So uh, theoretically, all those Xbox 360 games on demand games, if they're whitelisted for Xbox One, you mm -hmm. would be able to buy them and in get the, them. On the Xbox One store, you think? They they could always, yeah, they could always put a section there. And sure, I guess since sure. you're downloading all you? those disk based games, you should be able to buy those as well? You right. should be able to buy those I as well. I wonder if this stuff will fall into the games the games on gold stuff. I, bet, I wonder if we will start oh, getting right. backwards yeah, compatible yeah. free games. Mm -hmm. um, that opens up that service to actually be a lot more attractive right. in a weird way. Yeah. Yeah. The thing that gets kind of dicey is that even with this upgrade to the one terabyte drive, like, that's still not a lot of space a lot of for space. a lot of games. That you stuff's know? easily expandable. You know, yeah. like, the, you can, you know, yeah. put those USB 3 drives in there, you get a speed bump, <coughs> you, get, you know, that's not, that's, that's not, it's so not impossible, bad. I it's, know. It's, yeah, it's dead simple to upgrade the storage on that thing. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that, that to me seemed like the biggest thing they said at any point during that yeah. press conference. Yeah. It was definitely the most surprising. Weird. Coming out of the gate with that and the controller, two big surprises, I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 pro controller with the funky funk, uh, weird yeah. flipper things, yeah. and normally that shit is like kryptonite to me, but I don't know. That seemed kind of neat, actually. Yeah. It was like very, some of the stuff they were talking it was a about there. Sexy little video they had. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and as much as I hate what audience, are they playing to with that thing? Like, like well, typically, FPS, that's, that's like a you know esports 
first person shooter right. like type of thing of but, like I mean, you want to play Call of Duty right then you yeah. need the shorter throw on the triggers right. so you shoot you know faster you know sure. uh, and and that's and is that D-pad that weird D-pad is that a fighting game thing they were showing it with Killer Instinct so yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. that thing looked crazy but it looked but like it was interchangeable in so, a normal yeah. D-pad yeah. yeah and did they insinuate that you could move the analog stick down here to be like almost like the PlayStation oh I didn't see that. oh maybe. maybe so oh. Y that's something that I think. There have been some full-on custom controllers that have had that, where you can right. kind of say, like, I want the D-pad up here. And, and, but I think that might be something you configure it by time, not necessarily hmm. uh, after the fact. I, hmm. I don't know for sure, but, uh, huh. That was, that, yeah, that thing looked, I don't know, it looked really interesting. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it opens up that market, too, to, like, outside of that, like, very narrow niche market of, like, Right, yeah, if they're selling it then, it, then it shows up in way more stores that way, because it's not yeah. like, hey, we hacked, to get, we hacked up at a regular Xbox One controller, and we're reselling it for $100. Or, or, like you said, it's, like, marketed towards, like, people who are competitive almost, and it's like, I, that's never going to be me, but I still want this thing now. Maybe, like, but also, you know, it, it's hard to know. I mean, it may be that, like, the people that are truly looking to compete on a higher level might still want their custom modified controller sure. and that this is not yeah, enough for them. Right. We'll have to, you know, none of us are those people, so who knows. But I have a new, uh, I have another list to read if you're interested. Lists? I, I, I love lists. lists. Love lists. This is the 30 games in that Rare collection. Yeah. Okay. All uh, right. This is someone, someone on Twitter sent this in, thanks to Philippe. Uh, all right. Jetpack. Mm-hmm. Attic Attack. Lunar I think, Jetman. I think it's a tick attack. A tick attack. <laughs> but I don't, I don't remember. I don't know. Listen, I yeah, fucking no, hate addicts. British games. I'm going to go, yeah. yeah. Lunar Jetman, Saber Wolf, Underworld, Underworld, uh, Night Lore, Gun Fright, Slalom, RC Pro-Am, Cobra Triangle, <laughs> Snake oh, Rattle and Roll, good. Bigger T-Rock, Solar Jetman, uh -huh. Battletoads, RC Pro-Am 2, uh -huh. mm. Battletoads Arcade, <laughs> Killer Instinct Gold, Blast Core. Oh my god! Yeah, Gold? Like, yeah, what? Yeah, I know. It's just Killer it's Instinct 2. Like. I know. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie, Jet Force Gemini, uh, I lost my place, Perfect Dark, Banjo-Tooie, Conquer's Bad Fur Day, Grabbed by the Ghoulies, Perfect Dark Zero, <laughs> yep. I mean, it's every, why it's not? Every, Fuck yeah! yeah. yeah, yeah Cameo! <laughs> Cameo Elements of Power, Viva mm. Pinata, Jetpack <laughs> Refueled, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, and Viva Pinata Trouble in Paradise. Mm. Okay, so some of those are made possible by their backwards compatibility right. stuff for the 360. Yeah. Yeah. Um, some of that's even more elaborate work, like Grab by the Ghoulies. That's mm. crazy. Yeah. So the big uh, omissions, obviously Goldeneye. Goldeneye. Donkey Kong Country, obviously. Right. Mm. Yeah. yeah. What are you going to um, do? The right stuff, basically. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that stuff would be damn hard to navigate and probably not worth it. So when they say this stuff is backwards compatible natively, is, is the implication there that there is no emulation going on? That this is using like pure no, there would absolutely. I mean, well, uh, either be. they're you know porting the game, but they're just kind of at that point. There's the it's like too much. It's at that point the difference is like kind of minimal. Like mm -hmm. whether it's like a high level emulation to get that game up and running specifically. But it, I mean, the way they make it sound like you know, hey, all a uh, all a publisher has to do is say okay, and then then it's in. Right. It makes it sound like they have built an Xbox 360 emulator for the Xbox One. Okay. Um, but it may be possible that they opt in, and then they have a dedicated emulation team yeah. that is making sure that that shit is compatible like and doing the, like hyper custom right. stuff of like, okay, in order to get. We have to configure this emulation profile in this specific yeah. way. Remember, that's exactly what they had to do for Xbox 2 360. Yeah. yeah. Like every game yeah. was, and some of them worked better than others. Right, you know, right. It's, it's, a, it's a hacky solution. Uh, yeah, it, it's, not, you know, it's not like a cycle accurate emulator, you know, Xbox 360 okay. emulator, I'm sure. Because yeah. uh, that would be probably impossible to do on mm -hmm. an Xbox One. Yeah. Um, but you can get around that stuff if you're very crafty about it. And that was... That was how, if you, like, if you think about it, you know, if we if we go to the dark side, that's how N64 emulation was first built. If we care, the full Phantom Pain trailer is starting in like 60 seconds on YouTube. We're not. We're, I, mean, I, don't know if, I don't know if we can make it. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know. Uh, I I mean that'll be confusing. Like I that's their exclusive. Like we're not going to show it. Um, right. But uh, so yeah, that that stuff, the backwards stuff, the controller. I thought that. Um, uh, Recore uh, was a cool surprise. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, sea of Thieves is a Sea of Thieves looks cool. Is that to see what kind of sea yes. a little more? The sea, sea a, little a little more. more. Mm. Before I want to thieve believe, a little more. I was going to thieve. We don't support I piracy. Yeah. Oh, the thieve. 
I mean, like, it's well. cool piracy. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that, I don't know. That could be really interesting. Uh, and then obviously there's Guardians. Yeah, yeah. So Halo mm -hmm. Five. I guess like they talk about Master Chief leading a squad as well. So yeah. <clears throat> I guess you know he'll have a crew. I don't. I don't know who that would be. The end of Halo Four. Did he get? He, he got back in touch with yeah. other Earthlings in that game, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. dude, yeah. The, yeah. the full ending of that game is, is yeah, he makes the helmet, the helmet coming yeah. off. Right, okay. see, see, right. See he makes like, it back to civilization. He has eyes. You see like five, five frames of his bald head. Right, 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 right. Veteran, like legendary, legendary, I think, yeah. Okay. But like, he's, yeah, he's walking through the ship and they're all like, whoa, man, it's Master Chief. The guy falls off the the. Okay, so then so then Halo 5 is him saying like, fuck you guys, I'm going to go save Cortana. And then they go, um, we're going to come get you because no... Okay. Or All right. Yeah, doing something, I guess. Like the Spartan on Spartan angle is kind of an interesting way to go with that story. Yeah. Not, they, ju not just more like, let's fight the Didact for another game. I mean, that's what's going to happen, though. But, sure, but I feel yeah, like, they, yeah. they, like it, it's one of the ways that Halo 4 kind of was a cop-out, is like, they're like, he's out there in the middle of nothing. Yeah. And there's a new enemy. Right. And then spent half the game fighting the Covenant yeah. also. But the, why not? You know, like that, that sort of, like, they didn't go far enough in that direction for my taste, I but guess. But did they... Um, the way they were talking about it made it seem like, like, hey, you should know what happened here. Are they bridging it with some kind of series, like the two games, of like what happened to Master Chief? They've been like, posting a bunch of shit to SoundCloud. Really? Have they? Weird. Really. It's yeah. where the, all the hot shit is at. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. there's Halo, no like Chance the Rapper series all or something mm -hmm. like that, like live action or, or animated or, or missions or something that's supposed to be I mean, comic book. It feels. Mm -hmm. novel. My Probably. gut. My gut feels like. It feels a lot like Halo doesn't have the same thrust that it used to. Yeah, uh, I think it still looks cool. I'm sure there will be fans yeah. who love it. I'm sure it will sell well, but like I don't know. Like I don't think we're gonna get big live actions. Are they doing that live action show? Mm, I think that Is got it? killed, right? Yeah. The Nightfall stuff. Yeah. Did it actually get or killed it, or just get happened? Or well, like, something launched alongside. There was a time that everyone uh, at this the table Chief would know. Collection. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone at this table well, would know. Microsoft right. Yeah. And that, like, that stuff has gotten here. so sideways. Like right. the, I mean, the, they, yeah. they shut down the Microsoft Entertainment Studios initiative. Right. Like the TV stuff that's gone. So. I just want it to be a cool game at this point. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I like cool games. Yeah, yeah and that, that multiplayer beta they did felt good. So, you know, it seems like that's got some some serious potential, you know, for for being something, right? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Gears, the double announcement. Uh, of double, double. I didn't think that new Gears looked no, no, no. Like, did, like, graphic like their or like weather effect, all like all de well, deformation, nice. destruction stuff, like, sure. look cool, but yeah. it's, it's hard to get a sense for, like, what what is really different because I mean all the Gears games have had their like dark horror section right yeah, yeah. 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 You know? it's basically like their version of the flood what was it the Lambent or whatever yeah. kind of zombie like yeah. enemies yeah. so yeah. I think I would have liked a little more like set up for the, where we are like for me personally just like a hook narrative hook right like, yeah what this the is. deep Gears of yeah. lore <laughs> uh, I would have liked some Gears of lore yeah I don't know that, that stuff for me I, I thought even though it, it's not the greatest, but there's some story there. In the, there in the is, Gears yeah, universe. yeah. Like it's I, I, yes, knowing where we're at is is important. Mm -hmm. But I mean, they rendered a nice looking Marcus Phoenix for their intro thing, so presumably that could have just been for the remaster. They, they couldn't call a game Gears of War four and not have it attached to Gears of War three. I think yeah. like if they called it something different, rebirth. Yeah, Gears. This time it's more horror y right? Than you know than all bets are off in terms of cast and all that other stuff, but maybe we'll hear more about it. Soon. Revenge of Dom, Gears of War Four, Revenge of Dom. <laughs> so they didn't Finally, show, they didn't show anything from the rematch. Right? No, 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 they screen. didn't. They, Apparently, we yeah. can go down, like people can download it today. Of the remaster, uh, the multiplayer yeah. beta for yeah. the remaster oh. starts. It'll last for a week. Bummer so. about all this stuff getting launched at E3 and then shut down a week later. Like yeah. we're out of town the whole time. I know, right? If only I could be playing multiplayer Gears of yeah. War One right now. Uh, Vinny oh, Chris Waters uh, over on, on Twitter yeah. notes that uh, according to the Gearsopedia, yeah. Sarah only has one moon, so Gears Four must be on a new planet. Ooh. Gears of Lore. Well, maybe maybe they were in. Maybe it was in like Eclipse or something like that, huh? There was a Chris flag, uh, there was a tattered flag hanging at one point. Yeah. Maybe it was the American flag. Maybe <gasps> this takes it to Earth. Statue of <gasps> Liberty's in the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're the real Gears of War. <laughs> what? Don't say that. Yeah. I'd, I'd rather not be. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what did they, uh, what did they, they just showed Fallout 4, right? There's some more, like, combat yeah. stuff. Yeah. Mods. 
Right, mods. Oh, mods. That was a thing. Mods so free console. mods. That's a big deal. We right. Out what Phil Spencer's yeah. charisma rating was. It's it's a it's a it's, it's a big deal that could potentially go awry. I feel like a lot of the time when they try to bring these expanded kind of PC only experiences onto consoles, yeah. they come with a lot of restrictions. Well, I wonder if Bethesda or, or Microsoft will have somebody curating which mods come through. Right. Yeah. You have you to can, imagine. You can see stuff being created on PC that's just like too hefty for the Xbox to handle. I mean, I think too hefty. Like, some of that stuff on the PC would just. Giant Bomb's live coverage of E3 2015 is brought to you by Squarespace. For a free trial and 10% off, visit squarespace.com slash bombcast. Keep on playing it, keep on talking about it, and I think that's what they're losing, and I think that's why they're giving it away for free now. I'm talking about Titanfall specifically here, mm. because we know a new Titanfall's in the works. Respawn's not at E3 this year, though, so we're not going to he be hearing anything about that. However, yeah, keep t keep Titanfall in players' minds as, oh, I remember that, yeah, I had a good time. <laughs> that was really yeah. good, yeah. Uh, then we went to uh, a game that I was like, a game that I was delighted to see, but maybe drew a few sort of, oh, uh, uh, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare mm. 2. Anybody? No. Any? Any guys? Uh, no, I'm not big on that. Anybody? Oh, not I, I thing. That's yeah, fine. I mean, it looked charming. It looked cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, d I guess I could go back on I want to go back Giant to Giant Bomb's original. live coverage of E3 yeah. 2015 is brought to you by out. Squarespace. Uh, For a free trial and 10% off, visit like squarespace.com slash bombcast. Like saturated colors and like playfulness, uh, which we'll definitely get to later uh, as we talk about like, well, now indie we showcase we and, uh, yeah, yeah, of course, Rare's appearance. But we're like before we 150 of the cars look great. Yeah. The rest of them we've up well, the shit from the previous generation. Like, you know, that's always the crazy part. Plus, you know, like they can always make the environments look better. Totally, like, yeah. The, crowds, like the crowd the needs crowds, to look yes. better. Like that's or, the, or terrible. That was that was the Xbox One's wall guy moment, right? Yes. It was the Forza crowd. Yeah. And you know, they they probably have to make good on that whether they want to or not. Or just not have crowds. Because it's raining. <laughs> no one wants to stand outside and watch cars race. It's too fucked up out here. Uh, and, uh EA did like a like a good old sales pitch for their Yeah, uh, Peter Moore got out there and said like, Hey, this EA access thing still <laughs> exists. It's still here. You can uh, you can sign up for it you if can you get want it. to. We're going to open up some stuff for like a little bit. You it's still there. Uh, yeah, that was a little weird segment. And then the, and then the Garden Warfare 2 thing was just kind of attached to that yeah. like as he walked off. Um, and then uh, what was it? Uh, Division. And you can get some uh, Rainbow uh, Six mm -hmm. with your Division, right? Uh, no, no. You no, get some Rainbow Six oh, with your Rainbow, Rainbow Six. six. Yeah. The siege. yeah. Okay, right. Um, and then, right, Division. Uh, they didn't really explain what, what that, that is. is quite yet. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm still, not, I'm still not sure. We'll have more to say about it soon, but yeah. I will tell you the one thing I'll tell you is like I'm still not, I'm not that sure. Well, I'm sure they'll. Uh, hopefully, they'll 
unpack that a little more too and flesh it out. At yeah. their press conference. Yeah, they've got their own press they conference to better. hopefully roll it out and go like, no, here's what it is. Yeah. Uh, and, and hopefully they will, because I feel like that's... I, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I have some thoughts. Um, Tomb Raider? Did I miss any HoloLens stuff when I left briefly? The, you Minecraft. saw the Minecraft stuff, I saw, right? I started, okay. yeah. That was it. Yeah, that was that it. Was it. Huh. Yeah. Um, <coughs> well, they, oh, so they announced the the, the Valve. Uh, the, yeah, that was yeah. right. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yes. barely. Yeah, so they're like, so they're partnering with Valve to make sure that that thing is smooth on Windows 10, which Valve probably would have done that themselves anyway. Yeah. So I, you yeah. know, like I'm not sure what the yeah, they're getting in on the ground floor. Yeah, some engineers are talking. Yeah, probably, exactly. Right? Like, hey, we hooked our guys up with your guys, right. and Direct they asked, like, will this work? And they said, yeah, totally. Yeah. But it's right, great. But it's, you know, it, I think it's, yeah, obviously Microsoft has to do its strategic stuff, but with Valve doing its uh, Steam OS and all that stuff, too, to make their box, I wonder what the integration between that box streaming from Windows PC, you know, all this stuff is now just seems like a giant mesh, right? Of like, well, I'm going to have this Steam o OS box, which will hopefully work with Valve's thing, yeah. Which will also work with my Windows PC. But, you're, but realistically, you're not going to have a Steam OS box. Well, I'll probably have the, um, the, the Steam Link, the Steam Link, which hopefully will work natively with whatever VR they come out with. Like, I don't know, no. or, or stream that no. thing. Do I have to be in front of my Windows yeah, PC? Yes, you, plug yes, into you do, thing. because like the thing that kills VR is latency, and if you're adding the latency of streaming video to your Steam Link, and then spitting that thing out to your headset that's hooked up to your Steam Link. You're adding latency between your input and the it going back to the PC and then video. So that's what back. they said for playing with Oculus on your Xbox One, right? They the said it'll. The difference current. there is that you're not looking around the game. You're looking the the room on the Oculus is rendered natively, not on an Xbox One. Oh, so One. you think that's it's just, just how a do video it? on a wall, oh. and the latency there doesn't matter because you're not in that world. You're watching that world. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even try to understand. Yeah, it. Just, <laughs> what I'm watching you watching that world uh -huh. while watching a video. Uh -huh. of watching me, watching you, watching oh, me. Man. So <laughs> meet space. <laughs> oh, oh, get it. It's so okay. Totally different thing. Okay. Totally different. Thing. Totally different thing. Got it. Uh, yeah. So yeah, but but running. A VR headset on some, anything other than the computer that is powering all that stuff not sounds or like not not, not right. a thing. Yeah. Okay, uh, or or way not optimal at the very That's, least. I mean, all the engineering talk that has come out of VR is like the more latency, the more sick you're going to get. So, so is like, it, like getting latency yeah. almost non-existent is like the primary it, goal of this. Is, stuff. Is, is this something you imagine gets plugged into like the? Uh, <laughs> uh, Video out on your on your yes. video card. Yes. yes. Okay. So this yeah. is not going to be like a USB three or something. It is no. both because well, yeah. it will it will well, need to transmit stuff, data. Right? But the video yeah. will come out yes, directly video... from your render of the video card. They're they're okay. so fixated on getting the latency down that they're using special screen tech that like refreshes the pixels in a different okay. way. Like it's it's a huge problem mm -hmm. with like motion sickness and stuff. Weird. Okay. Well, that'll be an interesting thing for when they when they come out with this stuff for their Steam the the link and all that stuff. Like how do you get around that if you want to play that stuff? You don't. You go. Yeah. Back
iron out anything they thought they could solve with voice before. Right. Uh, so, yeah. I, huh. yeah. I just, yeah. An interesting show. I like. I, yeah. I kind of feel like it could have used another game at the end yeah. there. Yeah. A when little the, kicker. When, the, when the end came, yeah, I was, I was like, okay. Ge- Gears was not a good closer. Yeah. No, no. That, that Gears demo didn't seem... I don't know. It looked cool, but it looked, yeah. uh, you know, it's, it's not, like a Gears not game. really... Yeah. Well, like, again, like, we talked about what worked last night with Fallout was it showed us at least they were trying some new things. Right. And I yeah. wanted that from Gears, too. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. okay, well, now what? Also this. Yeah, right. Because the visuals aren't going to be enough at this point. Yeah, definitely. So that's... I like this trend, though. Uh, so far, we're two for two with uh, announce something and immediately available, right? Yeah. 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 So yeah. I hope that continues for the rest of the day and into tomorrow. That, that's always fun. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then uh, EA is coming up here. Um, let's see here. One o'clock, they'll be starting, so we will be here at 12.30 Pacific. That's an hour from now. Uh, but we are going to take a break now, yeah. and uh, we'll be back live in Brad, time for EA. watch that Dark Souls trailer I, you missed. Yeah. I just did. It, was, it didn't sound I'm going to watch this Rock Band 4 freestyle guitar solo so, trailer So, yeah, that just so they issued out. the huh. freestyle guitar solo stuff for Rock Band 4. It's fucking cool. Uh, i got to watch this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll have uh, the podcast that goes up tomorrow has some pretty in-depth... Yeah, we, yeah, we talk about kind of a lot about how that stuff works. Rock Band uh, Talk, yeah. Also Tomorrow sounds like they just put up the pre-order stuff for that, and it's like 30 DLC songs free if you pre-order for it. Jeez. Huh. Like you pick, or...? or I, I, that I do not know. Yeah, I just yeah. saw the, the headline for it. Interesting. Well, yeah, so Rock Band 4 stuff getting out there. Maybe it's Sony? Mm. Oh, you mean like, like, like on Rock stage? Band on stage at Sony? Eh. 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 Considering, I don't think Rock Band necessarily needs to be on a stage at yeah, this I'm point. not saying it yeah. needs to. I'm yeah. just wondering if you think it will be. But also, like, no. the, the way okay. the DLC situation worked out, Sony's not the platform for that. Yeah. Yeah. Fair that's, enough. That's not... Yeah. No. Um, stay tuned. Stay yeah, tuned. Stay we tuned. will be back uh, in about an hour. So everybody get up, stretch your legs. Uh, you know, go look around on the internet. I'm sure there's some other stuff out there. We'll be poking around looking for stuff. And uh, sure. we'll be back in an hour to talk to you about electronic arts and, oh. I don't know. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Yeah. Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs>